Hey, what's up? My name is Matt Carlson, and I'm a professional videographer based out of Indianapolis, Indiana. In this video, I want to do a test with my new Mavic 3 Classic to see which aperture has the most detail. There weren't any other good videos that I could find on YouTube with this test, so I figured I would just do it myself. This test will also be relevant for the original Mavic 3 as they use the same sensor and lens on the main camera. I always thought that the smaller telephoto zoom lens on the original Mavic 3 looked like trash in my opinion and seemed more like a marketing ploy. But when the Mavic 3 Classic was announced with everything the exact same minus the telephoto lens for a cheaper price, I picked one up right away. Standard camera lenses all have sort of a sweet spot when it comes to detail at different apertures. Many times that sweet spot is anywhere between f4 to f8, depending on the lens. Anything more wide open or closed down and the image will get a bit more soft, even if you are adding shallower depth of field. With most drone cameras using such a wide angle lens, Shallow depth of field isn't really something you get much of unless you're using a more expensive system like the Inspire X5 or X7 lens series with tighter focal lengths. Therefore, deciding which aperture to use on the Mavic 3 based on maximum image quality, if there is a difference at all, is what I'll be doing, especially alongside ND filters, which will keep my shutter speed down. So let's head outside and run through all the different f-stops. All right, so here I am outside of my place and the drone does not have audio. So I just held up a sign to make sure I didn't get any of the apertures wrong. So I tested out 2.8, F4, F5.6, F8, and F11. Um, that basically is the entire range of F-stops on the Mavic 3. So... With the lens being so wide, you're not really gonna be able to tell. Yes, this is pixel peeping to its finest, but um, I just wanted to see and wanted to test it and maybe it'll help somebody else out that cares as much as I do uh, about getting the maximum detail out of the Mavic 3 Classic sensor. But again, this will work for the Mavic 3 original as well on that main camera. So anyways, with it being so wide, you can't tell a huge difference. But if we zoom in a little bit, like say 200% on the image, and we go 2.8, and say we compare that with F11, you can definitely see a difference there. With 2.8 being much sharper, much more detail than F11 which is common on most standard camera lenses as well, that F11 would not be. So if you compare F2.8 with F4, this is F4, 2.8, you're not gonna see a huge difference there between the two. F4, F5.6, again, not a huge difference, at least on me, which I'm about 10 feet away from the drone. And I, I'm going to do another test here in a second. I'm going to show you where I'm using further away uh, images since that's a lot of times what drones are filming, not a person 10 feet away from the actual drone. So F8 to 2.8, F11. So here's a split screen. Oh, I got to go back out. So here's a split screen of each of those apertures. So you can kind of see for yourself you know there's not a huge difference at least on me and my face and like my jacket you the text doesn't look a whole lot different but now what i thought was interesting is now i'm doing this basically apartment complex across the pond and we'll zoom in to say 400 percent and look at these and this is where you see a bigger difference, I feel like. So if you look at the detail on the red part of the roof, and even like the windows on the roof, and you go from F2.8 to F11, it's pretty massive, the difference. So I would 
tend to stay away from F11 unless you don't have an ND filter and you've got to go up there to get your shutter speed down. But as you can see, compared to 2.8, it's quite a bit softer. And so now if we compare F4 with F2.8, it's, it's pretty close. I would say F4 may be just a little softer, especially in the windows on the roof. Now F5.6 compared to 2.8, you can't really see much of a difference there. If you get into F8, it gets a, starts to get a little softer. You can definitely tell especially in the, the detail of the red part of the roof, which is kind of what I was looking at. So 5.6 to 2.8, you're probably not going to notice a big difference. So you're pretty much safe within those f-stops. But I would stay away from f8 to f11 as the image does start to get a little bit softer. So there's a quick test with all the different apertures of the Mavic 3. Let me know in the comments which one you thought looked the most detailed and if you'd like to see any other tests. Thanks for watching.